what's in here? <laughs> Can I have my sunglasses back? Yeah, I'll get yours. Sunglasses okay, holders. Please. Okay, I am, I am. Just me on the beach with my coconuts. Hey guys, well, we are back in Costa Rica. I cannot see, but we're in a different area. So we're Costa Rica but, addicts. Like yes. it's our favorite place to go. It is our home away from home. And we're in the southwest corner of Costa Rica, a part that we've never been to. Uh, it's pretty exciting. So we're here because one of our dreams and our goals in life is to move internationally one day, you know, when the animals or pets aren't with us anymore, and also to preserve land somewhere. So we're starting with Costa Rica. We come here all the time. Why not look at some land, see what's going on? And also, this area holds a very rare snake that I'm so excited to find. Will we find it? I don't know. But stay tuned for that. That's a big surprise. Think of a big banana. Think of a big banana <laughs> in the water. And I'm going to jump on that big yellow banana in the water, oh okay? God. Okay. So stay tuned for this trip. We also are here with Rhett's friend. Yes, he's um, here somewhere. We call him Abuelito Loco. Yeah. Man, I don't know where he we went. We kind of lost him, but you will see him in this video. We're going to take you guys with us looking for stuff like we always do. Enough of us talking, because who likes that? Let's go. Oh, I know. I've heard you. You've been talking so much today. Our first find here on the beach is this beautiful black spiny-tailed iguana. These guys are really cool and super prehistoric looking. Ooh, red lord parrot. I get a little closer. We're looking for scarlet macaws right now. This is one of the only places they occur. Oh my gosh. I feel so lucky right now. Look, we just spotted macaws while just getting a bite to eat here on the beach. Did you all know that macaws were heading towards extinction in the 1990s due to poachers raiding the nest and selling babies as exotic pets and also deforestation of their habitat? Thankfully though, efforts were made and now parrots are one of the many exotic animals that you cannot own here in Costa Rica. And also lots of Costa Rica is reforested, which is allowing the numbers of macaws to arise. We've traveled to this part of Costa Rica from our home here in South Florida. This area of Costa Rica and the Osa Peninsula is one of the most biodiverse places on the entire planet. It is home to some unique and rare wildlife. Hopefully on this trip, we can show you some of the venomous snakes and other animals that live in this area. We're specifically looking for something called the yellow sea snake. We are going to meet up with Frank from Ocho Verde Wildlife to search for that yellow sea snake. So the old guys were walking one way and I decided to venture off on my own so I could find the first snake of the night. But anyways, look, I walked on this trail and look at this little cute cat eye snake. I love him. There's a nice river here. I already found a snake. So I'm going to go try to find the guys and make them walk with me. He's already in the water? Well, I know you're tired, but Taylor making us swim is the first video that you're going to be in. Yes, I can. I don't have my hat on. Nope. Oh. All right. Taylor's making us take a swim. This looks amazing. There could be caiman. There could be crocs. Could be tree boas. There could be bushmasters. There could be fertile ants. Like a green iguana? Oh, wow. Good, fine, Tay. That's incredible. These are glass frog eggs. And the cool thing about glass frogs, they lay their eggs right above streams. And as the tadpoles hatch in the eggs, they drop out into the streams. Such cool adaptations. You got a brown basilisk, right? Yeah, basilisk, big green. Tay, you got a snake? Cat eye. A really good spot by Tay, it's right in the center. So wasp got you? Uh, I just had a wasp come to my face and fly away. Oh, nope, they're coming in. Ah, they're, oh, they want more. They're the wasps. Yeah, how do we get in the middle of the river? 
frog in the middle of a wasp attack. When looking for snakes and other wildlife, what we do is we look for habitat changes, uh, one habitat changing to the next. We look for water, we look for food sources, and all those things combined with the right weather conditions can put us on to animals we're looking for. It's just as much of a science as fishing or hunting anything else. Abuelito, ven aquí, Taylor got another snake. That she is, constantly, all the time. It's, it's a really good spot. It's right in the middle of the stream, she said. What? Yeah, so I always That's why we wear the boots here. And uh, we find these boots are pretty good for keeping us safe from snakes. Okay, Ed, I want you to see this one. That's a heck of a spot, Tay. Yeah, that's crazy. There. We've uh, heard about them sitting in the middle of streams so many times. And this is the first time we get to see it. Oh, so cool. It's sitting right there. It's crazy. Snake. But think about it, Ed. What a great spot to sit and wait for little frogs. You saw him from back there. You she spotted, no, she spotted him from all the way back where oh, we were standing. What kind of eyes do you got? That's fantastic. That is so Be cool. Be careful, you're getting really close. No, I'm, I'm standing. He's flicking his tongue out. That Fred. means he, he's getting like. All close. right, I'm back, I'm back. Hold on. Jungle Girl's going. Oh, this is wicked cool. Hold on, I'm trying to keep up with you. Being little works well here. What? This is incredible. Such dense, beautiful jungle. This rain is great. When it starts raining, it pulls a lot of the snakes out of their hiding spots. This is crazy. Taylor just spotted another fertile ants right by our car. It is the single most dangerous snake in Central America. It's responsible for the most snake bites and snake bite related fatalities everywhere it's found. It's called a fertile ants by gringos, but the local people here in Costa Rica, they call this snake the terciopelo, which translates to velvet in Spanish because of its soft appearance. It's also called the lance-headed viper. These snakes are responsible for so many bites because unlike many species, these are really good at adapting to living around people. Wherever rodents are, these snakes are going to show up. The venom of the fertile ants is so toxic, they have the ability to overpower a possum who is typically immune to snake venom. That's how toxic their venom is. But like any other snake, if you leave them alone, they're going to leave you alone. What an awesome snake. We got to get up early and go meet Frank to look for the sea snakes. He's got a gun. Of course. Well, yeah, the cops are going to have gun. Got a little shakedown from the cops. They tried to charge us three times what a seatbelt ticket cost. And then they took the money, stuffed it in their pockets. <laughs> I gracied him the hell. Yes, you did. <laughs> you gave him so many gracias over my money. <laughs> <laughs> Those under my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Your face is so swollen. It's so oh. rosy and cute. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, can't take these two anywhere. We got a good three hours sleep last night. Check out this really cool little fishing village here on the coast. Today we are on a crazy hunt for a rare snake that is only found here in the Golfo Dose in Costa Rica. Yellow sea snakes get their name for very obvious reasons. They are yellow, yes of course. Some individuals do have some black specklings on them, so basically we're looking for floating bananas or floating ripe bananas. Will we find any? Who knows, but fingers crossed. Around dust, so we're running the slick looking for the sea snakes just like you would the normal yellow belly sea snakes. Yeah, big sea turtle. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, really big sea turtle. Oh, yeah, big, big. Yeah, yeah. They have, Snake. Wow. This is awesome, man. <laughs> this is so. Where'd he go? I can't believe it. He's right there. 
right next to the boat, probably. Oh, there he is. All right, Tay. Oh, just here, you want me to hold that thing while you go in? Yellow sea snakes are a subspecies of the yellow-bellied sea snake, which we have found a few times in Costa Rica. I'll share a link to that video. Besides being a beautiful, yellow sea snakes are yellow for a reason. They live in warm waters here in Costa Rica, so being such a bright color helps them stay cooler. Researchers also believe that the color helps them thermoregulate at night when they're hunting for food. Oh, and just a reminder, these snakes are super venomous, even potentially deadly, so no crazy handling will be done in this video. The yellow sea snakes are much smaller than the yellow-bellied sea snakes. They max out at 20 inches. Sea snakes actually absorb oxygen through their skin, which helps them be able to stay underwater for up to three and a half hours. So that's just another reason why they can be so hard to find. Not five minutes back on the boat, we got another one. That one's got speckles. Yeah. You want me to hold that or you're gonna, you good? I gotta say, finding animals, especially sea snakes, and the ocean has to be one of the coolest ways to go herping. Get on a boat, get on a jet ski, and you're just in the middle of the ocean. You never know what you're gonna find. Sea snakes spend their entire life in the ocean. They breed, hunt, eat, and sleep in the water. They only go on land when they're sick. There really isn't much information on yellow sea snakes as they were only truly discovered around 2017. Before that, researchers thought they were just a weird colored yellow belly sea snake. Sea snakes drink fresh rainwater and they eat mainly fish. They give live birth, but no one really knows how many babies at a time. Sea snakes are very toxic, but thankfully are very reluctant to bite since they have no natural predators. Of course, unless you grab them or harass them, so that's one of the reasons we don't do that. The yellow sea snakes seem even less skittish than the yellow bellies. I don't know if you remember from the last video, whenever we got up on the yellow bellies on the jet ski, they kind of dove underwater, so we had to hurry up. But these guys seem very fine and comfortable with us swimming in the water with them. I know we're gonna have so much footage. This Number four. So exciting. Man. We're doing better than I thought we would. Way better. Yeah. One, I was gonna be so happy with one. Yeah. Yeah.